It's a busy Saturday on the Kurodusha Gam Road. Maneuvering the bad portions of the road is an unavoidable daily task for motorists, even on a weekend when traffic is expected to be long. This presents a good idea of what traffic could be on weekdays when trucks and tankers ply that route. The situation is worrisome and motorists have endured this for years. The yes, well, is very bad. Nobody can ever play, uh, play for this kind of situation. We are not the, is too, the traffic is too much. Every day, every day, we are facing the traffic every day. As an alternative, expectations are that adequate palliative measures will have been done on the road to cushion the effect of traffic congestion that would arise from the partial closure of the Berga Kara end of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. I'm not saying the road, the entire stretch has been rehabilitated. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it is better and it is an alternative to whatever anybody wants to use now. So it's still in a better shape than what it was then. In the past months, sections of the road have been reconstructed. The placement of drainage curbs along the Ogijo boundary community in Wos Shagam in Ogun State seems to be a fresh work. Road users say the level of work done is short of expectation of a project which commenced in May 2018. The experience is so bad. Honestly, you can, you can see yourself. The road is so bad, but we we'll thank God for the federal government. They are on it. But the only problem is just that the job is slow. Sometimes last year, the Arab contractor started a bit of construction on this road. Uh, as you can see yourself, the construction has been fully abandoned. And the road, at, at, as it is now, is worse than what it used to be before they started the project. Now we are suffering here every day. When the construction of the Berger Kara section of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway commences, motorists will have to brace up for more challenges. One of our musicians says, suffering and smiling. We Nigerians, what will we do? We are the hand of the government. There's nothing we will do. We are going to face it. Suffering and smiling. <laughs> suffering and smiling is an expression used to describe the resilience of Nigerians in situations like this, with the expectation of getting the very best at the end of it all.